Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do, including watching. Uh, please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just give me the name or the link down below, and I'll be more than glad to check it out. Uh, uh, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Hit that subscribe and enjoy the vlogs that we put out. So today I'm going to be reacting to a video about Prophet Muhammad made this um, atheists accept Islam. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. The big Western media takes no prisoners in amplifying every negative news about Islam. This singular act has led to many young people having preconceived notions about Islam before having any real encounter with Islam or Muslims. This misinformation is a jihad for every Muslim to fight by sending as many positive messages as possible. That's not the point of this video though. This video highlights the very rare silver lining. It tells a story of a young man, Dale Brown, from Newcastle, who, after hearing negativity about Islam all his life, still studied Islam with an open mind and became a Muslim. Please sit back and enjoy, insha'Allah. Dale Brown was born and raised in Newcastle, United Kingdom. About three decades ago, his family was not a religious one. In fact, he had little or no idea about the major religions or even the presence of a creator. He had a non-existent belief system, so it was natural for him to become an atheist when he grew old enough to know what it meant. There was a void to be filled in his heart, and atheism was the subconscious choice to fill that void. As a young school kid, he developed an interest in the historical and theoretical aspects of religion, but not the spiritual side. He'd excel in his RE studies, that he once won an award for an essay he wrote about religion history, but that was it. The interest was merely on the surface, nothing profound. Dale's interest in atheism grew as he became older. He became more expressive with his views. This was further amplified as an adult. He started listening to metal music and following bands whose lyrics and appearance were mostly against religions and religious beliefs. However, this was short-lived because the belief system died down when he moved away from the circle that influenced it and the music that amplified it. He started doing more soul-searching, having subconscious thoughts about the universe, the planets, space, and everything around it. The idea that there must be a creator that created all these beautiful things started coming to him. But still, there was no interest in religion. He became an agnostic. Like every other young person whose primary source of information in the Western media, Dale's first encounter with Islam was a negative one. After the 9-11 incident and the negative press Islam received, it was easy for Dale to form a negative view about Islam. Over time, Dale opened his mind to other possibilities than the one he had already formed. He asked questions from Muslims online, and the answers they gave him got him into thinking he may have believed the wrong ideas. So he started studying Islam personally, reading the Quran and the Hadiths, asking more questions from different communities online, and taking his time to analyze the information he got. He started studying Islam to satisfy his curiosity. But after consuming so much information, he began to realize this may be what he had been looking for all along. He believed in the existence of God, but his belief lacked any spiritual backing, so he thought to himself maybe Islam is what he's been looking for. He watched several hours of YouTube videos on Islam, but after watching one that described the life and time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his interest was further piqued. He also found out that the Quran had never been edited. That was another turning point. After these encounters, it dawned on him that this was what he had been looking for. 
and he needed to pursue it. After it became clear enough to Dale that he was on the right path, he knew he needed to take the Shahada. He searched online for places around him where he could take the Shahada to no avail. Then after reading the story of Abu Talib, the Prophet's uncle, who couldn't take the Shahada on his deathbed, he became concerned if he would be able to take it or what would happen if he didn't. He started taking extra precautions before doing anything because he was afraid of dying without taking the Shahada. To Dale, he felt each minute spent without becoming a Muslim was too uncertain. So he started looking for ways for him to take the Shahada himself. He learned to recite the words of the Shahada through YouTube videos and after trying to conduct it himself, he felt it wasn't right. So he searched online again, this time for mosques around him. He found Newcastle Central Mosque and by the next day, he was there. He met the Imam who asked if he really wanted to become a Muslim and why he wanted to become one. Dale answered in affirmative and explained that he had been learning for a while and taking the Shahada was not something he just wanted to do but needed to do. The Imam conducted the ceremony for him, just the two of them, and according to Dale, he felt so at peace, cleansed, contented, and relieved afterward. He now had a sense of security in his life. The timing of his Shahada was so impeccable that the next day, a new class for new Muslim reverts started. Dale joined, and at that point, he had his first physical Muslim family. The class teachings were integral to forming practical knowledge of Islam as a new Muslim and forming bonds with the Brotherhood. The support network that exists within the Muslim community is an excellent benefit to anyone. According to Dale, as someone who came from a broken home and has battled with mental health in the past, having a group of people you easily count as being in your corner helps a lot, he said in the interview. His advice to those looking into Islam or prospective new Muslims is to go to the best source they can get genuine information from, and that's the Qur'an. As they continue to study, they will unravel the truths they seek within the texts of the Qur'an. What an interesting video. I always love listening to people's converting stories. They're always interested in their paths. I love how everyone has their own path and how that path has... Um, push them towards Islam. Um, even though he started this search alone, it's also important to um, consider how the media has created this impossible view of what Islam may be or what Muslims may be, which is very, very sad. And even despite us sitting down saying, we know this is not the situation, we know you're trying to paint a bad picture where it shouldn't be bad, they still do it and they won't stop as long as that um, aligns with whatever they want, they'll still continue to do it. I love the fact that he actually went online to uh, seek out people, not people, but Muslims to answer his questions. And um, we see that Muslims were kind enough to respond to him, which is uh, for the people that are watching this video, this reaction should also um, strive to do. You don't have to be rude sometimes. I love, I don't know his name, what's his name? There's a guy that said something to us on um, LinkedIn. A big shout out to you because your approach was nice. You were so kind in what you said and how you wanted us to exchange information. And he constantly comments on uh, our videos not all of them but some of them he always says nice things it's such people that change your mind about certain things that impact your life or your journey in some type of way that that person alone i'm grateful for that person i really appreciate that person and the person that actually first suggested we react to such videos was is always kind as well was always kind as well you know 
so when someone comes out and seeks information or asks questions it doesn't mean they're challenging something it's because they want to know otherwise if we knew everything in this world we wouldn't be here asking questions not me not you not anyone in this world because we would be all know it alls so what's the whole point if we know something why should we ask something because we want to be sarcastic because we want to be rude because we want to be no it's not the case people should be open minded that this person is asking to learn this person is asking to understand and this person is asking to fill this void that exists in them you know and yeah a big shout out to the online people that are always welcoming a big shout out to the online people that are always patient with us that ask questions i i'm sending love thank you very much and it's such people that impact you in life and whether you believe it or not that speaks volumes about whatever religion you're coming from in life um and the fact that through islam he found the family that he may have been looking up um looking for while growing up it's good he found that and i mean it's great for him let me know what you guys actually think if there's anything you want me to react to drop the name or the link down below i'll be more than glad to react to it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video